Hey, hey everybody, this is Chintua, your happiness specialist coming to you today with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how the word yes can change your life in ways that you never imagine. How the word yes can change your life. Um, I'm going to share with you my personal experience with the word yes. Uh, so yesterday uh, I did a live stream and I talked a little bit more about this and I did promise today uh, or tomorrow, and I'm doing it today, that I would expand more uh, on what I shared yesterday on my live. And the word yes, oh, by the way, when you get, uh, so if you do get some value in this video, go ahead, comment, like, and share. Um, if you are not following me on YouTube, uh, there's a subscription button somewhere, uh, I, think, I think it's in red. Just touch it, it says subscribe, and you will be subscribed to my channel. Also, there's a little black uh, button in the uh, shape of a bell. When you touch that bell, what happens is every time I post a new video, you will get notified that I did a video. And you come and check it out, you know, and see if you can learn something from it. It is always my goal every time that I do a video to help you redesign your life to fulfill its divine promise. Uh, or divine purpose. So, what's the what is the big deal about the word yes? Uh, the yes, the word yes is a very powerful word. is a very positive one. You know, um, when you expect a yes and you get a no or something different, you know, it it it, it throws you off a little bit. Uh, and also, the word can play a very powerful role when it comes to relationships. Uh, ever notice the one word that most uh, men or guys or whatever or people that are in relationships when they propose to someone they've, they've been dating for a while uh, when they say hey you know they get on one knee and they say oh two knees and they say will you marry me what is the one word that they're uh, they are expecting they're expecting the word yes they're not expecting uh, maybe or no or worse yet you know uh, don't ask me that question something to that effect no they expect the word yes all right because it is a positive word it is a word that you know that's assuring that's comforting that gives you you know the go ahead to plan ahead for that event right it gives you the permission to continue dating that person when you ask them hey will you marry me and they say yes Okay, so I'm not talking about marriage here with the word yes. I am sharing with you, I want to share with you my own personal experience with the word yes. How we changed my life going back 19, um, nine years ago, not 19 years ago, nine years ago, uh, specifically back in 2010, I had an experience with the word. And when I look back, I said to myself, hey, I should have just said yes. And I wouldn't have had any issues, you know, that followed uh, thereafter, right, with my job as, a, as a, uh, a police officer. Most of you that know me know that know the story, but I wanted to share more about it because a lot of people really don't know um, how it affected me or whether it affected me at all or not. Uh, I'm going to tell you this, this. It did affect me. Uh, however, I didn't let it negatively affect or impact my life uh, moving forward. So back in 2010, right, when I was still working, um, I was working in, uh, in Manhattan. And I had an incident with uh, a supervisor of mine. And, you know, when she came to my post, right, uh, without going into too many details, you know, she said something to me that really... In hindsight, only required the word yes, and that would have been the end of it. But I chose to give a different uh, response. I chose to use a different word. I chose to use a different uh, reaction or whatever you want to say. You know, I chose to do something differently other than say yes, and that would have been the end of it. So, but because I didn't use the word yes, that started a whole different uh, set of wheels rolling, right? To the point where um, I ended up 
going in front of a whole bunch of people, you know, looking to get me fired from my job because I failed to use the word yes. All right. They said, oh, I was disobedient. I was insubordinate. I was this and that. It really wasn't all of that. But I take personal responsibility for my role and what happened to me. Because uh, in another video that I did a few days ago, I talked about uh, what I got from Kim Coles, where she says, um, if something happens to you, that it really happened for you, especially if you learned something from it. Because when you look at it as having happened to you, you're taking the, the role of a victim. I refuse to be a victim. I refuse to take the role of a victim because I knew I made a contribution to what happened to me. So fast forward, right? Two, uh, two or three years after that incident, about three years after that incident, I found myself getting transferred. I got transferred to a precinct that I knew nothing about, to a place that I had never been, to a different geographical location, right? Now, if you've been around a while, if you've been maybe working or something, you know how it feels if you go to a place where you don't know anybody, you don't know the area, you don't know the people, you don't know how it, uh, the place functions, right? And you get dumped there. It's like you have to relearn how to move around, how to maneuver, how to deal with different people, a new set of people. And that's what I found myself uh, doing, right? And one thing that really helped me, you know, move past where I was at the time was one particular supervisor saying to me, hey, listen, you know, uh, we don't care what you did in the past. We don't care what happened. We, we don't care what your story was. You are starting with a new slate, right? Start writing on that new slate. Just move forward. And that stuck with me. And that's exactly what happened. That's what I ended up doing. And the benefit of being transferred, I'm, I'm going to share with you three, three incidents, three things, actually not incidents, three things that happened to me with that whole incident. One, I got transferred, you already heard about that, to a totally different place. Two, I was put on what they call dismissal probation for one year. What that means is, if you screw up, if, you, if they perceive you to have screwed up, they will fire you. I was this close to getting fired, right? Three, they took 45 vacation days from me. Now, if you know what 45 days of vacation means, right? you know that, hey, I wasn't going anywhere, you know, called vacation for a long time. But those are the things I had to deal with, all right? But I had to deal with one thing at a time. I had to move one step at a time, one foot in front of the other to get past where I was. So when this supervisor said to me, hey, you have a new slate to write on, just keep moving forward. That made so much sense to me. And that's exactly what I did. So. What the purpose of this video is to share with you that, hey, listen, no one is perfect and you need to be humble. Even when you're right, when you think you're right, sometimes the better approach to use is humility. All right, because when somebody uh, that you're dealing with, uh, in my case, who is who was a supervisor at the time, when they have a perceived power over you, they can take whatever course of action they, cho you know, they choose, right? The best thing is to be humble, all right? Being humble doesn't mean that you're showing uh, weakness. It's just, showing, it's just saying that you're showing to choose a better route. You're showing to be a better person. You're, showing, you're choosing the higher road, right? Before, because when, if you did like I did, get confrontational, guess what? You end up getting transferred or being put on probation or even, you know, having vacation days taken from you or worse, you know, you never know. But I came out of that a better person. I came out of that, all right, with better knowledge. I came out of that knowing how to manage my emotions, knowing, uh, learning how to, you know, better deal with similar situations. All right. So I promised I was going to share a little more uh, from the live I did yesterday. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about me and a little more about the word yes, all right? Because right now you may be going through a situation where you're 
uh, the answer that you're required to give or that you need to give is yes, especially if somebody is, uh, is you know, bringing a, an opportunity in front of you. Because sometimes because we don't know what we don't know, we say no or maybe or I don't need it or something like that. If somebody is bringing an opportunity in front of you right now, do like Sir Richard Branson said, said say yes, right? Even if you don't know anything about it, say yes. And then figure it out later because anything can always be figured out moving forward because you are going to learn what you need to do to tackle that new opportunity. Don't be afraid to say yes. If you say no, you might look back and regret it because someone said that, hey, what's greater, the pain of change or pain of regret? All right. Obviously, the pain of regret lasts long and it's, you know, it has a greater or uh bigger impact on, on your life, especially on the negative side. All right, so that's what I wanted to share about how the word yes can change your life. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully the word yes has a deeper meaning for you after seeing this video. All right, here's what I want you to do. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, uh, like I mentioned earlier. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel and then Click on that uh, symbol, the bell symbol, so you get notified when I do a new, uh, post a new video, all right? And the other thing I want you to do, I'm going to put a link uh, below the description of this video uh, to share with you uh, a platform, a blueprint that I've been using uh, almost two years now, all right? Because when I came, I came out of the Marine Corps uh, in 1996, you know, I got bitten by yeah, I'm going off on a tangent a little bit. I, I got bitten by the uh, entrepreneurial bug, all right? And I went through so many different things, you know, going from one failure to another without really realizing much success, all right? And it wasn't until uh, September of 2017 that a friend introduced to me something that I had never seen before, I'd never heard of. And I jumped on it and my story completely changed. I went from not knowing how to generate leads, not knowing how to really be on leaderboards. Leaderboards was a strange word to me. I had never been on anybody's leaderboards until, you know, uh, almost a year and a half ago, right? So that link I'm gonna put below the uh, description of this video, it may or may not be for you, but click on it. And what happened to me could very well happen for you, all right? Or what happened for me could very well happen for you. I don't know, but you'll never know until you say, Yes. All right. So this is how the power, uh, how the word yes can help change your life. All right. Hopefully you got some value from the video. And if you did, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, share. And uh, I would appreciate you. Let me know what you like best about the video, by the way, if you learned something from my personal story. All right. Until the next video, this is Chintwa, your happiness specialist. All right. Remember that everyone you meet is fighting a battle you know nothing about. So be kind, always. And as always, always be loving, be loved. God bless you. I appreciate you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.